वेलकम गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल अध्ययन विथ फ्लो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ एंड्रोशियम एंड्रोशियम इज व्हाट एंड्रोशियम इज अ मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन एंड्रोशियम इज कंपोज विथ व्हाट द कंपोज विथ स्टैमन दे आर व्हाट दे आर रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन ऑफ मेल एंड दे कंसिस्ट विथ व्हाट स्टॉक वी कैन से इट एज अ फिलामेंट पार्ट एंड एंड गाइस लुक इट हियर दिस इज अ स्टेमन दिस इज अ स्टेमन पार्ट मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन दिस पार्ट वी कैन कॉल इट एज अ एंथर एंड दिस पार्ट वी कैन कॉल इट एज अ फिलामेंट एंड स्टॉक दिस इज करेक्ट एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट दिस लॉन्ग ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इज वॉट दिस इज नॉट अ पॉलन ट्यूब गाइज दिस अ फिलामेंट एंड लुकेट हेयर दिस काइंड ऑफ अरेंजमेंट इज फाउंड लुकेट हेयर दिस इज द फीमेल पार्ट लुकेट हेयर दे ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम थैलमस now you clear now you better be clear they are multiple in number they are what multiple in number and these are what these are petals colorful part of the flower and these are what these are sepals now clear i think now you clear guys anther and filament they completely call it as a stamen the stamen is what male reproductive organ guys anther little bit discussion about anther they are bilobed look at here na arrangement they are bilobed if i cut this thing then they look like here as like this okay guys inside this there pollens will form pollen will form at a one division at a one pollen they divided into four pollen grains means one is microsporangia micro sporangia they divide and they produce pollen grain pollen grain pollen grain pollen grain there is huge number of pollen grain there is huge number of pollen grain if i dissect there is a synthesis site of pollen grains clear or not clear or not okay now sterile stamen is called as a stamenoid okay now there is some arrangement of anther and filament there is some arrangement yes if if stamen are attached to the petals look at here if stamen will attach to the petals then what we call it as a epi and petals part guys i'm not talking about sepals i'm not talking about this part i'm talking about petals part colorful part example is what example is brinzel this thing is complete or not this thing is complete or not if stamen attached with petals we can call it as a epi petals example is brinzel next when look at here epi phyllocious when they attach with perianth as in flower means they attach with other part other part except gynoecium we can call it as a what epi phyllocious example is lily now guys another arrangement is the stamen in a flower either remain free free word is polyandrous and united is look at here guys i previously described na everything look at here free form is uh, free form is poly and united form is gamo it may be gamo petals na it may be gamo sepals it may be gamo sepals and now in this arrangement look at here there is also using of this term polyandrous means stamen must be free like this they may be free they may be free okay but they may be show united state in this flower they are free polyandrous phenomena because this part is uh, uh, different this part is free this part is free this part is free 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 now some may be united into one bunch or bundle they may be united in bunch and bundle now clear now clear guys mono adelophus means if one bunch if one bundle is present we call it as a mono adelophus this we see in china rose if they make two bundles if they make two bundles means one set is here and one set is here now clear now clear this example is diadelphus p yes guys 
in pea plant there is 9 plus 1 arrangement 9 in a set form and 1 is extra we will show you i will show you best example is p for what di adelphus but if more than two bundles are present then we can say it as a poly adelphus citrus plant if multiple bunch if more than two bunch present then what we say poly adelphus now clear one two three four more than two bunch poly adelphus two bunch of anther two bunch of stamen we call it as a di adelphus one bundle one bunch of what stamen we call it as a mono adelphus now androsium is completed now androsium is completed now your term is completed apipetalus apifolus what is polyandrous what is gamo andrus look at here na polyandrous means they are free like this and i use this term gamo andrus means they are united and gamo andrus further divided into three part first is mono adelphus second is di adelphus and third is poly adelphus mono adelphus example is what mono adelphus is example is china rose di adelphus is example is p best example and poly adelphus example is what citrus plant they present in one bunch their stamen present in one bunch only one bunch they are present in two bunch and they present in the group of multiple stamen the group of more than two stamen now endosium is completed guys let's move towards the ovary ovary what gynosium what this is the female reproductive organ this is the what female reproductive organ they composed with three part ovary stigma style look at here guys i'm erasing okay i'm erasing this now this is what this is the stigma part this is style part guys look at here this is what this is stigma part and this is style part this is ovary part yes or not look at here the curvature structure of stigma they accept what pollen grains they accept what pollen grains now pollen grains nourish here they get some nourishment and they elongate their pollen tube and in future they fertilize the egg cell they make a pollen tube and in future they make a pollen tube and they fertilize what they fertilize what egg cell so stigma carry what pollen grains and now style carry what pollen tube they carry what pollen tube means guys here is pollen grain they are in this form this is a sticky layering hard layering and now this transfer by insect to another plant and now here this outer covering is break down and they grow like in this manner like they divide they divide and now they originate what their pollen tube where at a ovary part at a gynosium part this is the formation i describe everything each ovary bears one or more ovules attached to the flatten this arrangement we can call it as a placenta guys there is a some arrangement when we cut fruit na look at here this is example of pea when we cut pea na look at here there are arrangement of seeds look at here this is the main axis this is the main axis and there is arrangement you are all familiar with this thing yaar when we dissect this fruit na we find this arrangement you all with you all see the pea plant you all see pea plant and when we open up the their this part when we open up their seed seed arrangement is this this is the main axis and they attach with their seed look at here this is another when we cut tomato we saw this arrangement yes or not guys don't be so uh, fully use some smartly be the smart when you cut na any kind of uh, fruits any kind of vegetable they show their arrangement of seeds they easily show their arrangement they easily show citrus plant they easily show their arrangement look at here guys they easily show okay let's start one by one first is marginal first is marginal second in exile third is partial fourth is free central and last is basal this is guys what this is what marginal this is axial and another one is what 
partial free central and basal look at here one by one arrangement marginal i told you now there is central axis and series like here we visualize in what p plant example is p plant yes or not now next is axial in axial part there is multi ocular ovaries like this is the part of ovary and they divide into chambers look at here na look at here they divide into chambers this arrangement is called here is seed here is seed here is seed here is seed guys this arrangement is what these are axial arrangement the example is china rose best example is china rose and this is also, also visualized in tomato i already told you here na tomato now next is what lemon okay now next is partial arrangement look at here partial they arrange with periphery look at here partial periphery p for partial p for periphery they are arranged like this manner if i talk about partial they are arranged in this manner this kind of arrangement partial arrangement they attach with periphery we can call it as a partial placentation partial placentation the example is mustard remember this thing now clear now next is uh, now next is free central now next is free central look at here this free central according to their name they present it as central part look at here i am drawing here this and what here in a central according to their name na central part c4 central part they are arrangement in a central part primrose now next is basal part look at here their arrangement is different ha huh? they shown by sunflower look at here their arrangement is something is twisted in form look at here let's we read this uh, definition the placenta develops at the base of the ovary and single ovule is attached example is sunflower is and marigold so this is what this is the placentas placentation we already discuss about gynoecium part we already discuss about endoecium part and we already discuss about what estivation estivation or not okay now in our next video we will discuss about what the fruit this is not hard and fast this is not hard and fast that what is pericarp which is apicarp mesocarp endocarp according to their name na api means outer meso means middle and endo means inner side look at here apicarp mesocarp this is seed part and this is the endocarp if i take a rigid flower, uh, rigid fruit look at here this is the apicarp sorry this is the mesocarp this is a seed and this is the endocarp they may be vary according fruit to fruit okay the seed orientation okay the seed we will discuss in next video okay because this is lengthy okay we discuss about dicot seed we discuss about monocot seed we will discuss in our next video so that's all for now and thank you for watching my video and thanks for supporting me and subscribe my channel and keep revising 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 thank you so much guys thanks a lot for listening me